right. Well, this is what we took two weeks off, three weeks off, seven years, seven years. My seven uh, years. My wife got real sick. She got uh, dengue fever, which is awful. It's super likely terrible. story. <laughs> it's uh, it's not it, even the first time you've used that excuse at all. They uh, it they call it the bone breaking disease because you feel like all your joints are just breaking under the from the. I don't know what it is, the inflammation, I guess. It huh. is awful. I got it a couple of years ago, and uh, it's horrible. So I didn't really have any chance to do anything podcast-related for the last two weeks or so. But we're back at it. It's probably going to be back. a little be a little clunky, because that seems what happens every time, clunky. <laughs> every time we take a break. But uh, that's all right. One of the things... Yes, as if we haven't been speaking for 20 years. <laughs> One of like the, uh you're Alan, Alan, right? Okay. Got uh it. Tyler, right? Yes. Uh one of the things yes. that happened since we last talked is yes. I finished the good place. Okay. And uh I hated it until the end. And I was blown, my mind was blown. So if you haven't the seen end it of season one? Of season, season one. Two? Season one. Okay. If you haven't watched it. It is yes. kind of a struggle to get through. But it's uh, it's a little slow at first, almost like uh, I, when I watch it, I feel like this is this would be a better movie. I think, like the concept didn't feel like it was sustainable mm-hmm. over that period of time. Yeah, but then yeah, at the end, I was like, oh, okay, this yeah. is pretty cool. Yeah, so for me, I I was just so annoyed because the characters mm-hmm. are obnoxious. If all yes. the plots felt so contrived, I was like, "Are you yeah. are you serious? Like, there's no way they would be able to keep the secret for so long, and all this stuff." And so, spoilers: it turns out she's not actually in heaven; she's in hell, and everything that's happening is a way to make her crazy, is a way to torture her. And so torture all of them. Yeah. Yeah. So all the contriveness made so much it, sense. It's like, oh, okay. Because it was intentional. Yeah. And uh I I haven't I haven't been that uh shocked, mind blown, like <laughs> plot twisted. Yeah, for so long. And uh it I, was I wanted to give up good. so many times. Yeah. But if you can stick it um, out. It's uh yeah. it's really it's it's worth it. Yeah, um yeah, I the the end definitely caught me off guard. Uh Ted Danson, I thought, played it very well, very nicely. Mm. I didn't like him until the end. Um until he Oh, I like I just like I just like Ted Danson. So when, when he had that sinister smile. That's well, that, yeah, <laughs> that, that's what I mean. It was like, wow, that you got me. Yeah. You got me, Becker. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's a so so. You have not seen the second season, then I have, and it's not. Very oh, you good. have seen it. Yeah, it's not very good. You didn't like it? Not really. It wasn't as good. No, I like the first two episodes. I it, ha- thought, it has its moments. Yeah, but I, I thought the first two were good. Like they had it was had promising, you know, potential. Potential, but uh, yeah. I didn't really like where it went. I thought I was looking forward to seeing them redo everything, but now you get to watch it from the idea of, from the viewpoint of knowing what's going on, knowing that right. they're being tortured, knowing that they're in hell and, but watching everything get like manipulated slightly. I thought that would have been really interested, interesting and to mm-hmm. uh, kind of change who you follow. Cause you follow um, what's her name? I was Kristen Bell. Kristen Bell. I always want to call her Christina Applegate. <laughs> Applegate. Eleanor. Right? Eleanor. Yeah. Shellstrop. Uh, you follow her the first season. I I thought it would have been interesting if you would have changed that up and make her not so much the main character, just to have a different right. viewpoint or something like that. You know. Um, yeah. and they kind of did that the first two episodes, and then the third episode. Was, so do you mean more from like Ted Danson's t- uh, viewpoint or from one of the other characters? Uh, either. Okay. Either from Ted Danson's viewpoint, watching everything unfold that way, or yeah. making one of the other characters kind of the main like uh, person. Because she, 
I don't know. She she was too smart, too clever. I was like, to too smart the second time around. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's a stretch for sure. And but the, the end, the end of season two, I hated. I really. I'm, try, I'm trying to even remember how that one ended. So the season two again, spoilers, but uh, season two ends with them getting sent back on Earth, which I don't. I didn't. I'm not really oh, sure right. okay. if it's a simulation of them going back on Earth or if they actually got sent back to Earth. Okay. I didn't quite um, understand that part. I I think it's got potential. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm su- to be honest, I'm surprised it's it's still on. Mm. Just because it's 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 the problem with having such a like unique specific concept right there's only so much that you can do yeah um but uh, i'm still going yeah. um so we'll I, see i did enjoy I mean, I, ted, I, ted danson's roast of all the guys uh you let see it's been a while I'll have to re- so he, refresh me at the end when they're celebrating having done everything successfully but it, i mean it wasn't actually right. successful they have a big party and ted danson roasts everyone and it's yes, not I, even funny it's just like straight up mean <laughs> like <yeah>. i can't <laughs> he's so, uh, something about how nobody likes cheaty and how yeah, uh, hell is exactly where and, yeah chris and bell yeah. is supposed to be like it, there's no jokes it's just straight up mean truth me <laughs> but <laughs> it's it, really funny. it turns out to be like a secret code and they're like mm-hmm. we we figured out your codes you know like we figured out the six clues that you left behind and he's like I left behind 7 million different clues for you guys. I was really hoping uh, you'd at least pick up on a couple. <laughs> right. Yeah. That, um, yeah. See, I, I, I thought he was really good in the second season. Um, yeah. Just who he was trying to be. Yeah. Uh, I, so I thought, I, I, like I, said, I just love Ted Danson. I think he's great. So the one thing he's hard, it's hard for him to disappoint me. The one thing I had a hard time with uh, concept wise or logically mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, this is not not meant to be logical, but there what was four people that they're torturing. Yeah, and there was let's say a hundred demons uh-huh. to focus on four people. It seemed a bit excessive. Yeah, but at the same time, there's probably so many demons that, like, you can spare that many demons yeah I, I don't know yeah i don't know it seems like it seemed like a lot like i felt it, like the it ratio does seem like a lot just to torture a, a couple people but the ratio should have been flipped like it it would have made more sense if five humans to one demon yeah like you have a couple in there like the fake eleanor or the real right. eleanor or whatever the demon eleanor who came in in the first season um like you have a couple hidden in there, but everyone else should have also been being tortured. Yeah, I see what you're saying. But uh, um, the concept yeah. of pretending that you live in heaven, but making heaven exhausting is super funny. To get to the point where you almost don't want to be there. Yeah. How every every restaurant was uh, frozen yogurt. Frozen yogurt. <laughs> Oh, it's so funny. Or just like the the wacky house with like the clown pictures and yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's it's a it's a whimsical idea. Yeah. So I don't need it to make a whole lot of sense. It's it's enjoyable from week to week. Yeah, I had uh, I also I, I kind of had a hard time with the tone of it though sometimes because it was uh, paced as a drama but shot as a comedy. I don't know if you ever picked on that, picked up on that, but the way, like the lighting and everything, it felt very much like a a comedy, but everything right. that was happening was very much more dramatic, but it, the tone of it was still more comedic. It wasn't like a dramedy type thing. It was like, it felt very in conflict with how it was made and what the story was being told. I... I always just took it as a straight comedy. Yeah. But the, the pacing, because I love torture, <laughs> the pacing of it. 
how because they there's a lot more slower moments quiet moments uh where things right. aren't really happening and they, they don't really do that very much in comedies there's it's generally that's true you keep the pace up so you you're like along for this ride and you don't have time to think about the jokes oh uh, it's not it's not so much a complaint it was just a weird no no i i get you yeah um yeah i guess i never even really thought about it like that but uh yeah do you do you think we'll see uh Moe's at any point in this show? From uh From the office, because it's it's from the same guy. That's what I was trying to figure I was gonna say Parks and Rec. I was like, that's not right. <laughs> I, was I think say he did Rock. Parks and Rec too, but he was on Parks and Rec. Was he? As as something. But yeah. this is his like created show. Michael Schur. Hmm. I um, don't think Moses yeah. is going to show up. I don't know if that was a real question or not, but I'm going to say no. No, it was a very <laughs> intentionally unfunny question <laughs> that has no answer. Those are those are the best kind. Oh, well, that's how I live my life. But uh, so, I mean, you are one one vote away on Patreon, sir. Yeah, I saw that. You You still have one on me, but if you're listening to this, you can save me. I'm currently yeah. down five to one against Taylor. And Wouldn't I, it be much funnier if you just lost like the next 70 in a row? Um, no, I would say no, it would not be. Because I think after maybe like 15 times, I I take the movie that like you seem to hate the most mm-hmm. and just make you watch it every month <laughs> over and over again. Oh, man. I uh, I I don't even know what to do anymore. I can't believe I've never lost to you at anything this amount of times. Yeah, this is this is unprecedented. Yeah, it's it's upsetting. It's really what it is. Um, but also fantastic. So, uh. <laughs> but yeah, so for a dollar, you can go over to Patreon and vote for Taylor or I. Whoever loses at the end of the month has to pay a punishment. Uh, I again, I've lost. I think five times, maybe six times. Uh, and Taylor's only lost once. And you can change uh, that. Yeah. For a no, dollar. But let's not. You, you can you can save me. And you can also get all our episodes two weeks in advance. We have coming out this week, uh, The Wall and Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within. Oh, really? The Wall, spoiler, not a very good movie. Yeah, I haven't seen it, but I've heard. The Wall? Not great. Oh, wait, never mind. I was thinking of The Great Wall. <laughs> Me and you watched it and talked about it together. <laughs> yeah, uh, I thought this is one you just did without me. <laughs> That's Final Fantasy. That's with Jesse. Yeah, that from was the conversationalist. Was one. Yeah, it was pretty disappointing. But uh, I remember watching. But yes, the wall. <laughs> yeah, not great. Not 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 great. But uh, yeah, we will be back uh, soon. You can follow us on uh, Twitter at I that pod. Like us on Facebook. Go check out our sponsors, Boss Play, over at uh, boss play dot com. And yes. uh, we'll be back. Thanks again for listening.